Would you care for a date? No, thanks. Look, we've done all that bit. When are we going to go upstairs? I told you. I've got to give him a chance to get to sleep. If he knows I've got a woman in here, he won't leave us alone. He'll be up and down them stairs like a bleeding yo-yo. I <laughs> find any excuse to come in. What's he doing, anyway? He's cobbling. What? <laughs> in bed? Yeah. Well, there's not much else he can do at his age. <laughs> so I don't like me doing it. How long does he keep this up? Well, it depends on how many boots he's got to mend. <laughs> I brought him home six and a half pairs today. <laughs> he's like a little troll, he is. Little know-me long nose. He can't go to bed till he's finished them. Look, I can't hang about this long. Let's go up now. No. I can't concentrate with him banging away all night. Well, it looks like he's the only one who's going to. <laughs> Look, let's forget it. I'll go up. No, don't, don't, don't go. Now, stay. Stay. I mean, th this is all right. I mean, this is nice. So it's, it's comfortable. What on a couch? <laughs> you joking? I've served my apprenticeship. No. I gave up the front room bit years oh. ago. <laughs> I like a bit of comfort these days. Hello. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not putting up with this. You can't use yourself talking. I won't go on much longer. Look, would you care for another drink? No, thanks. We've done in a bottle already. I didn't come here to booze. I don't understand you. What? You say you've been after me for months. I have, Marcia. I have. But ever since the first time I saw you outside the cinema, I looked up and there you was. Up a ladder changing next week's film titles. <laughs> I, I, I remember it very well. Yes, that's right. And I dropped a letter E on your head. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah you, you was uh, taking down Naughty Knickers and the Lash of Lust. And, and you was putting up Herbie Rides again because the kid was on other. <laughs> you said I look like Robert Redford. I've not forgotten it. Took you long enough to talk to me, didn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't like to. I must have bought a ton of jock ices off you, don't <laughs> I suppose it was because uh, of that. On your finger. Oh, that. Oh, you don't want to take no notice of that. Oh, usually I stay clear of married women. I don't like the idea of breaking up families, you know. Huh. But don't he mind, your husband? I mean, don't he mind you going out with other men? Oh, no. We have an understanding. We're a couple of swingers. We're a very liberated couple. Well, in fact, I'm more liberated than he is. Are you? Yeah. He's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he couldn't care less. Look, I didn't come here for a kiss and a cuddle and a box of dates. That's no good to a grown woman. We have other needs. Is there something wrong with you? You're not impudent, are you? <laughs> Impotent? Yeah. No, no, of course not. Oh. Well, I've never had no complaints. I don't suppose you have either. Well, let's put it this way. You might have to take the day off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> let's make it a week, shall we? Come on, let's go up now. No, no, I, I, I don't like to. Not, not while he's awake. Well, go up and hit him over the head with his hammer. I don't think I wouldn't like to. <laughs> I think he's finished. Hang on, I'll have a look. Hey, hey, you like? He go, he go, he's got that time. Come on. <laughs> oh, go, Daryl, come on. Up the dies. Up the dies now. Up the spoon now. Here we are. This is it. 
Let's go downstairs. No, no, it's, it's quite conducive. Well, once the lights out. It's got lamps in it. We'll soon flatten them out. <laughs> It's not a bug. It is. I know a bug when I see one. It can't be a bug. I had a sulfur candle going in here all yesterday. <laughs> Have you got a woman in there? No, no. Go back to sleep. It's not a bug, honestly. It can't be a bug. It's not. It's not. It's a ladybird. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting in there. Hey. Huh. Have you found any more bugs in there? No, no, it's not a bug, it's a ladybird. It's a very good for the no, roses. No. Oh, it's, oh, it's got a little black... Oh. Little red, hang on, hang on, what, 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 what? Go on, little ladybird, fly away home. It's good. Well, this one is, I'm not stopping it. Yeah, come back, come back, come back. Ah, let me go. Put that down, you dirty little devil. No, no, please, come back. There's no bugs in here, I promise, it's you. No, I know what your father was doing with his armor, killing them. No, no. it's just silly. No, 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 no. Mother Nature is bestowing her bounteous gifts. Huh? The sunbeams are dancing on the cars in roof. <laughs> <laughs> time to get up. Uh, <laughs> Clock, it's time you was out on the round. Oh, 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 go, oh, oh, a minute, a minute, I can't, I can't do a minute. Oh, 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 Here. oh, 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 that's better. Oh, that's much better. What is that? Dripping. Oh, God. <laughs> kind of thing you can get, dripping. Keeps the cold out. Yeah, dripping for the neck and goose fat. For the chest. You can't beat the old remedies. Chicken for the uh, goose fat for the. No wonder you couldn't get a bird in those days. <laughs> Did you sleep all right? Of course I didn't. Well, I told you you can come in with me. No, thank you. <laughs> After three weeks of erotic anticipation of what I was going to do to Marcia, I really couldn't have spent my night with you. Oh well, that's another romance coming up the spot. I suppose we shall see her again. I never saw bird mood so quick. She was out of here faster than a, a bishop from a brothel raid. Never <laughs> <laughs> other people. Uh, I mean, other blokes gets it for nothing. For me, uh, no. no, no. It's eight gin and tonics, a mandarin meal for two at the East Acton Lotus House, <laughs> two bottles of Nui Sons, yours, plus the 80, and a taxi ride back here. She does it in the best part of a bottle of Dimple while waiting for you. Well, I've got a show for it. A stiff neck and a smashed up bed. <laughs> Added to which, two sweet and sour pork balls, rolls off the end of my chopsticks, down me new tie, right down me clean shirt, and ends up lodged in a fly zipper of me brand new flares. <laughs> <laughs> I did wedge last night, Dad. I really tried. I was entitled to a result last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's this house. It's a kiss of death. I don't know why I bring birds back here. I really don't. I mean, I, I was worried about her meeting you. Oh, I never thought about the bed bugs. <laughs> and then the final catastrophe, the bed collapsed. Oh, it would have collapsed anyway. Better then than later on. You gonna mend it? No, I'm not. I'm chucking it out. I'm throwing that mattress on a fire. <laughs> Bed bugs. <laughs> uh, you don't want to do that until you get another one. You won't find a bed as easy as that on the rounds. I'm not going to get another one off of the round. That's where that one come from. It's disgusting sleeping in other people's beds. You never know who's been in them. I've got a brand new one from a shop. It cost you a lot of money. I don't care. I've never had a bed of my own. I mean, all of my life, I've slept in other people's cast-offs. Look, a man is, he, he spends about a third of his life in bed. Well, in your case, two-thirds. <laughs> He's entitled to a decent one. I've got a brand new bed. Sheets, blankets, the lot. When I bring a bird back here next time, it is going to be right. I, I've got to get a sexy one. 
I saw a round one in a shop the other day. A round bed? Yes. Well, how are you supposed to know where your feet go? <laughs> I don't matter. I mean, they, they can go anywhere. They can point in any direction what you fancy. How about the sheets? I'll get round sheets. Who makes round sheets? Same people what make square ones. I mean, it is no harder to make a round sheet than it is to make a square sheet. I bet it is. I bet it isn't. I bet they cost more. I don't care. I'm going to get round black sheets. Oh. That's a good idea. You won't have to wash them. <laughs> so I thought that would appeal to you. Yeah, I'll have some of them square black ones. If you have black sheets, we'll never find you. <laughs> I might get one made special. I mean, I doesn't have to have a round one. Oh, no. You could have a triangular one, or a half moon one, or a figure of eight. You taking the mickey? Yeah, a bed's a bed. I never had a bed of my own until I was married. Yeah, I know, dear. Eight of us, they were all in one bed. Yes, I know, dear. Four brothers, two sisters, me mum and dad. <laughs> eight of us. They're all dead now. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. We didn't have gas masks in those days, did we? <laughs> eight of us. Four up one end and four down the other. Turn back the sheet and we look like a tin of sardines. <laughs> oh, there was hard days. Do you know what we used to have for breakfast? Bread and margarine. That's right. Bread and margarine, that's all. Bread and margarine was a sign in them days that she was poor and hungry, not fat and frightened to death of dying of cholesterol. <laughs> I didn't even know what cholesterol was in them days. You still don't. <laughs> I couldn't afford it. The only thing that kept me going was a free teaspoonful of malt at school every morning. If it hadn't been for that, I don't think I would have seen 14. People around here in them days were all little. If you got to five foot four, you'd had your lot. If you saw anybody taller than that, he was rich. You're taller than that. Yeah, I wasn't in them days, though. I only got to this tall when I was 43. <laughs> <laughs> People nowadays don't know what it's all about. Kids, they spend more on crisps than my mum had to spend on the lot of us for a fortnight. <laughs> uh, time they brought conscription back, knock some... Discipline into the little bleeders. I don't follow. What's that got to do with buying crisps? Everything. Life is too easy these days, too soft. Anything they want, they get. I wanted Master Wiggly last night. I didn't get very far. <laughs> Mate, if they fancy you, you don't need a posh bed. Anywhere will do. I never brought girls back home here in those days for that sort of thing. I shouldn't think you would. Eight of you in a bit. <laughs> wasn't allowed. You weren't supposed to do it in them days. Rigid self-control, that was the thing. Respect for what was right and wrong. Honour and consideration for the girl. Unless you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Never in the house. Where did you used to do it then? Out in the yard. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> the junkyard for moonlight. It's a setting worthy of Antony and Cleopatra. <laughs> oh, they had the Nile. You had the Grand Union Canal. <laughs> they had their barge. You had the cart with the horse taken out. <laughs> they had their pyramids. You had a ten-foot pile of bull cocks and old gas stoves. <laughs> La, 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 la. The inscrutable face of the Sphinx smiling down on you. Or oh, next door's Tomcat with his ear bitten off. <laughs> What's the choose? We used to manage. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Here, tell me, pray, where was the royal bedchamber located? At the corner. I used to lean 12 motor car tyres up against the wall and we used to crawl inside. The erotic splendour of it all! <laughs> veritable tunnel of it. It was very comfortable. A bit dodgy, though. I remember one night, things got a bit hectic. The tyres started moving. 
we rolled right out of the yard and finished up halfway down Scrubs Lane. You ought to try it sometime. You could do a lot worse. No, thank you. I prefer the more prosaic approach. <laughs> After breakfast, I shall pop into the Bayswater Bedarama and purchase the most comfortable pit in the shop. I'll meet you there. Oh, God. If I said I was going to buy a pair of socks, you'd want to come too, wouldn't you? Well, I just want to make sure you won't be diddled. A bed should last you 20 years. Yes, well, you embarrass me and you're going to be confined to one for 20 years. <laughs> watch it. Did you know me long, no? <laughs> The betting shop is next door. <laughs> then had I wished to place a bet, that is where I would have gone. As it is, I've come about a bet. Uh, we do not buy beds, we sell them. Uh, now, if you don't mind, we are very busy. What? What? We're the only two people in this shop. I'll take no notice, uh, Father. Uh, the gentleman is labouring under a misapprehension. A word of advice. Judge ye not a man by the apparel what he weareth, or the company of what he keepeth, mush. <laughs> Find that I'd have the necessary conquers to facilitate the purchase of anything what you might have in this place. I'm very sorry, sir, but we are very expensive, and I just didn't want to embarrass you by showing you anything beyond your means. Most considerable. Allow me to be the best judge of that? Certainly, sir. <laughs> How much is this one? 350 guineas. Shall we nip in the betting shop? Shall we? <laughs> It is exclusive to ourselves, designed in our own workshops to a very high degree of workmanship. It has 1,600 independent high-tension springs in the mattress, which allows for correct weight posture and control of the body. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 350 guineas. That doesn't include the bedhead, of course. Oh, naturally. Would you take his old one in part exchange? Please! <laughs> Why not? You haven't burned it yet. It's a good one. All spare mattress. There are a few stains on it from where his Aunt Eth's kids stayed with us once, but they come out. Dad, would you please go and get me some cigarettes? Oh, allow me. Oh, thank you. Tags on the left, Virginian on the right. Most civilised. I'm not having that one. Somebody sat on it. In your own workshops, too. Father, please, please, just, just go and sit down. Just read the brochure. 350 guineas. 350 guineas. 350 guineas. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps uh, you could show me something else. Oh, certainly, sir. Uh, what have you in mind? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what sort of room is it going into? A bedroom. <laughs> I know. The decor, I mean, is the room aggressively masculine? Yes, it is. And so am I. <laughs> well, that narrows the field. We don't want uh, any frippery. No, we don't. <laughs> well, how about something like this? Chintzy. No, no, no. I've I done nothing like that. I've been trying to get away from that all of my life. Now, I'll tell you what I do like. The round one. I had a shafty at it the other week. Oh, yes, yes. The pompadour. Très, très chic, n'est-ce pas? Oh, indubitablement. <laughs> oh, uh, combien pour la? Uh, 400 livres. How much is that in real money? <laughs> 400 pounds. Oh, uh, je regret. Uh, elle le lit. A trop cher pour mon goût. Ah, oh, Monsieur parle bien français. Oh, si, si. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's too in my game. I mean, you get a lot of these frog antique dealers poking around the yard, you know. Le meubles merchants. They're trying to have it away with the stuff, thinking I don't know what I've got. Then again, with all these Charles Aznavour records, you must have a smatter in there. You are an antique dealer. Well, yes, yes, in a way. You know, mixed sort of. A bit of this, a bit of that. Your home must be exquisitely furnished. It's got a lot of old stuff in it, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I suppose you have got a form post of it. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. No, the, the poles would get in the way. In the way of what? And then again, they might hit their heads in the dark. Arrow! This is a good one! Arrow! <laughs> no, not bleeding trampoline! Come on, get off it! Come on, off! Off! I'm so sorry. Oh, has he made a mess? Dirty, dirty! <laughs> no, no, don't do that! 
No, let it dry first, then brush it off. <laughs> it's the round one. Yeah, no, that's the one we've been talking about. It's no good. Goes all the way down to the floor. Well, most modern beds do so. Well, where do you put the Edgar Allen then? <laughs> Edgar Allen. Oh, I see. Well, we, we naturally assume that people have separate arrangements for that sort of thing. Well, we haven't. Not inside the house, anyway. Excuse me, would you? Now, listen, you. I come out to Barbet, and all you've done is embarrass me. All you've done is nick his fag and put horse dung all over his clean sheets. And talk about putting pose underneath his bumper door. And just sit there and shut up. Shall we proceed? Uh, what is that one offered here? Ah, oh, yes, now that one. Now that really is lots of fun. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. It's not really in our line, of course, but one has to keep up with trends. Now this is a waterbed. A waterbed? Yes. Look at this. <laughs> the whole thing. Yes. The whole thing is full of water. It's really incredibly comfortable. <laughs> yeah, particularly good for people with bad backs. <laughs> that is clever, isn't it? Now, it's no good that all get seasick. <laughs> Why don't you try it, sir? Oh, no. oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's most comfortable. It's marvellous. It's like lying on a balloon full of water. It, it moulds itself to the exact contour of the body. Oh, it does, it does. Hey, give it a shove, Dad. <laughs> and then, of course, it can be plugged into the electric circuit in order to warm the water in the winter. Oh, that's good. You can make your breakfast without getting out of bed. <laughs> If you put a tap on it, you could make your tea as well. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> what, what, what if it leaks? No, it could bring down the ceiling. Most unlikely, sir. The skin is very strong. An elephant uh, could walk across it without it bursting. It is most comfortable. It's a sort of a rubbery feeling. <laughs> it's like being on a lilo on the water. Well, at least you won't have any more trouble with bed bugs. It'll drown the little bleeders. <laughs> least most impressed. There is just one thing though. I mean, uh, what's it like for... Uh, I mean, can you? <laughs> I mean, is it... Uh, does it interfere with... Well, uh, it's very relaxing, eases bodily tension, medically therapeutic. Yeah, I, I know, but until you get used to it, I mean, uh, is it difficult to... How's it for a crumpet? <laughs> You have to keep one foot on the floor. <laughs> oh, I see. You will find that every activity that can be engaged in on a normal bed can be engaged in on this one. He doesn't want to get engaged, mate. You will find that the gentle undulations of the water beneath the body, when in Congress, are a direct stimulating effect. On every, on every, on every. Oh, I want to see some blankets as well. Two hundred pounds. Come this way, please. <laughs> Will it affect my water, right? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, one, one hundred and fifty pounds. I'm so sorry. And uh, fifty pounds. Wait, wait, get it. And, and my cart. Oil Drum Lane. Yeah, Shepherd's Bush. Thursday morning. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you so much. I, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I hope not. Good afternoon. He's a poof! There it is. Her, her master's coming out tonight. She's most excited. She's never been on one before. She's going to try it out. 
I did think we've uh, got enough water in it. Enough? There must be a ton of water in there. It's the floor I'm afraid of. <laughs> when you start that Congress lark, you'll be able to go right through it. No, no, look, the floor's going to be all right. I'll, I've tested it. The joist is perfectly adequate. Oh, good. What? The devil left the plug off the heater and let that freezing cold water in there. I've got one around. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry. I'll put one on for you. Plenty lying about. Will you make the better smell? Yeah, yeah. Go on. It won't be worth your while going out if you don't hurry up. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, listen. Master's coming out at nine o'clock. I want you in bed. Door bolted. And no cobbling, right? <laughs> <laughs> and now listening up against the wall with a wine glass. <laughs> I shall see you <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> Dirty little devil. <coughs> ah. Gone to bed. <laughs> Would you care for a drink before we uh, hit the water? <laughs> no, thanks. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Does it really sort of. Um... Oh, it's very sensuous. I'm, I'm sorry about the other night. That's all right, Harold. I'll make it up to you tonight, Marcy. Oh, Harold. Marcy. Harold. Marcy, 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 Marcy. Mm. Mm. Round oh. and round the car. Mm. Like a teddy bear. Mm. One step, two step. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh.
putting up with this, you can't use self talking. I won't go on much longer. Would you care for another drink? No, thanks. We've done in a bottle already. I didn't come here to booze. I don't understand you. What? You say you've been after me for months. I have, Marcia. I have. <laughs> Ever since the first time I saw you outside the cinema, I looked up and there you was. Up a ladder changing next week's film titles. <laughs> I, I remember it very well. Yes, that's right, and I dropped a letter E on your head. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah you, you was uh, taking down Naughty Knickers and the Lash of Lust, and, and you was putting up Herbie Rides again, because the kid was on <laughs> You said I looked like Robert Redford. I've not forgotten it. Took you long enough to talk to me, didn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't like to. I must have bought a ton of jock ices off you, don't <laughs> I suppose it was because uh, of that. On your finger. Oh, that. Oh, you don't want to take no notice of that. Oh, usually I stay as clear of married women. I, I don't like the idea of breaking up families, you know. Huh. But don't he mind, your husband? I mean, don't he mind you going out with other men? Oh, no. We have an understanding. We're a couple of swingers. We're a very liberated couple. Well, in fact, I'm more liberated than he is. Are you? Would you care for a date? No, thanks. Look, we've done all that bit. When are we going to go upstairs? I told you. I've got to give him a chance to get to sleep. If he knows I've got a woman in here, he won't leave us alone. He'll be up and down them stairs like a bleeding yo-yo. <laughs> I find any excuse to come in. What's he doing, anyway? He's cobbling. What? <laughs> In bed? Yeah. Well, there's not much else he can do at his age. <laughs> so I don't like me doing it. How long does he keep this up? Well, it depends on how many boots he's got to mend. <laughs> I brought him home six and a half pairs today. <laughs> he's like a little trolley. He's a little gnomey long nose. He can't go to bed till he's finished them. Look, I can't hang about this long. Let's go up now. No, I can't concentrate with him banging away all night. <laughs> well, it looks like he's the only one who's going to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's forget it. I'll go up. No, don't, don't, don't go. Now, stay. Stay. I mean, th this is all right. I mean, this is nice. So it's, it's comfortable. What on a couch? <laughs> You're joking. I've served my apprenticeship. No. I gave up the front room bit years ago. <laughs> I like a bit of comfort these days. Hello. What? Oh. 